What is business intelligence? Let's talk about business intelligence. Despite what your more disgruntled employees and coworkers might say, it is a very real thing. So, what is it? On its most basic level, business intelligence is a scavenger hunt. But instead of searching around town trying to find three oversized stop signs, you're searching to get information out of data. I know what you might be thinking right now. Some of you are thinking that data and information are the same thing, right? Wrong. Data is a fact. This user clicked on the button seven times, or three people made the decision to subscribe to our newsletter. Data is nothing but a fact that you happen to have. It is the most basic form of knowledge. Information is what happens when we look at data. The analysis of any number of given points of data can be called information. For example, information might tell you that the three people who chose to subscribe to your site are 10% of visitors, or that they are 50% of visitors during the hour you are running a particular promotion. So data describes facts. Information is what we know about facts after we analyze them. The process of business intelligence is exactly that, turning data into information that can be used to make better informed decisions. What about business intelligence software? You can think of it as a kind of shortcut. Doing the manual math is fine when you only have 10 visitors to your site an hour, but doing it with hundreds or thousands of visitors can be daunting for even the most experienced of statisticians. Business intelligence software is a kind of umbrella term for the software applications used to analyze data and create information. We'll talk about a lot of these types of software moving forward in the course. For now, all you need to know is the basic concept of what business intelligence software is and what it does. Now, there are a few catches that you have to be aware of with business intelligence. Let's get those out of the way now. The first one is a simple fix. Business intelligence software in most, if not all, of its applications will only take raw data for analysis. This means that if you try to use data that has already been analyzed before, been run through other software, or that comes from an untrusted secondary source, you will run the risk of analyzing data twice. Now, you may be wondering why that's a problem. This is a problem for two reasons. The first is that depending on the software your company chooses to use, you may end up not being able to run the data. The second issue is that even if your software will allow you to work with previously processed data, you may find that you are getting skewed results. Analysis is a form of distilling data, and if you run it more than once, you could very well lose or alter key pieces of information. The simple fix here is obvious. Only use raw data from trusted sources, preferably an in-house source, so that you have verification of the collection process. The second catch is one that any of you who took a high school or college science class will be familiar with. You have to be sure that your research is valid, both internally and externally. For those of you who skipped that day in class, internal validity is basically the ability to make sure you are testing what you mean to test. You do this by controlling your variables properly. Say you want to test the patterns of users who log on after 2 a.m. You set the clock to 2 a.m. and start collecting your data. You're good to go, right? Well, only if you localize the clock settings to the location of the user. Remember that 2 a.m. in most of Africa is 9 p.m. in New York. Unless you are dealing with a very narrowly defined geographic region, this variable needs to be controlled for. External validity is about making sure your findings are applicable to a group outside of your set. Did you run your test during a sale or a weekend, when a major shift was taking place in your industry or target demographic? You need to be aware of these issues and how they may impact the external validity of your research. After all, you don't want to decide to drop a product line or expand it based on temporary circumstances. So unless your decision is very short term and related only to those circumstances, you need to make sure you are controlling for external validity by looking at the larger picture.
Here comes the bad news. There is no simple fix for research validity. In order to make sure you are getting things right, you will need to put in the time and lateral thinking skills while you are designing the research. It is better to spend some time on it up front than it is to make a bad decision based on bad research. Before we move on, let's talk about some of the business intelligence software you may already be familiar with. Some examples of business intelligence tasks may include data mining, querying, online analytical processing, and data reporting software. We will talk about these more later on in the course.